watching Daily Dinkus on June 2nd, which means it is bubbly day, it is rocky road day. We are in beautiful British Columbia, we're gonna pop some bubbly and have a rocking good time. Let's go! So we're just leaving Calgary, heading to Banff. It's only about a hundred kilometers, so these lucky buggers live an hour away from the most majestic mountains in North America. And we are gonna see them today. It's Rocky Road Day, and we're gonna visit some rocky roads in the Rocky Mountains. It's funny, I always thought of Alberta as more libertarian, freedom-loving, small government. The speed limit on this highway is 80 kilometers an hour. That's like 50 miles an hour. Kind of funny, immediately after I was complaining about that, the speed limit popped up to 110. So that's more like it. 110 despite the deer crossings. Uh, that's the Alberta I know and love. The rocky stretch from over there all the way. There's actually a lot of traffic. I think a lot of Calgarians must go to the Rockies. It's a Saturday, so there's a lot of traffic. You can see a lot of snow on the peaks there, so obviously Donald Trump was right. Global warming is a hoax. So we are entering Banff National Park. We are officially in Banff National Park. By the way, funny story, back at the entrance to the Banff National Park where there were a bunch of cars lined up, I took the wrong side and just went right around them. There were other cars doing the same thing, but I really didn't know. I didn't notice the signs because I was too busy filming and looking around, so I ended up bypassing the line and I still don't know what it was for. I don't know if I was supposed to pay an entrance fee. There were probably a hundred vehicles lined up in there and I just went right around them. And I'm hoping when I re return the rental car, they don't tell me I owe $100 for some kind of violation. I think I'm okay, but it's ironic, because if I've been paying less attention to my surroundings and trying to shoot video while I'm driving, I probably would have ended up stuck in that line. Who knows, I might even be still in there. I remember driving these roads as a teenager, coming down here to ski and snowboard. And these roads could be pretty treacherous. Right now, this is June, but imagine what it's like in January after a heavy storm. Nice to be here on a spring day with no chance of fishtailing and crashing into a tree. So I know a lot of people watching will have an issue with me driving and shooting at the same time. And all I can say is, it's not as dangerous as it seems. I've got cruise control on. Actually, I'm just gonna set it right now. I'm doing 110, so I'm not really driving that fast. I'm only like 10% over the limit. Um, wow, look at that. That is glorious. Anyway, I tend not to shoot when it's a dangerous situation. I rest the camera on the steering wheel a lot of the time, like it is right now, which is actually not that difficult to do. And here's the thing. I'm driving a rental car, and I did not pay for supplementary insurance. So if I crash this car, I'm on the hook personally for replacing it. Who is safer on the road than a young man or woman driving a rental car without insurance, holding a camera, doing 120 miles an hour, and knowing full well that if he or she crashes the car, he or she is personally responsible for replacing it. I put to you that I am in fact the safest driver on this whole road, on this whole highway, this rocky road that I'm on, I'm probably the safest driver. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Sunshine Village, this is where I used to ski a lot. It has, I think, the longest ski season in North America, maybe the world. Sunshine also has something called the Ski Out, so there's a base camp, but you can ski from the base camp down to the base of the gondola, and it's an old, I think it's an old logging road, but if you ski from the very top of the mountain to the very bottom of the Ski Out, it takes, man, it could take an hour, it's unbelievable. So you're looking at yet another rocky road, and I can't play music because of YouTube policies, but I'll tell you, when I'm not filming, I'm rocking out. And how appropriate is that? I'm gonna listen to some rock music. I'm gonna rock out. I'm gonna enjoy the rocky mountains on this rocky road. So, yeah! Woohoohoo! 
Yeehaw! Show you guys, but apparently this is an avalanche area. So at times this is literally a rocky road full of rocks and other debris and a place you definitely don't want to be. So it's also bubbly day today and I think I'm going to try to find some hot springs and make some bubbles and find some bubbles and drink some bubbles. So um, happy bubbly day, we're going to head to Radium Hot Springs and see if we can find some bubbles. If we can't find bubbles, we'll make our own damn bubbles and we'll drink our own damn bubbles. I've got some bubbly in the back and uh, let's go, let's have some fun. So that's what we're looking for, hot springs. Sources themselves, I know what that means. We are entering Radium Hot Springs, how about that? Rocky Road Day just wouldn't be Rocky Road Day without an exhibit about helping wildlife cross the road. I'm gonna help myself cross into the hot springs. How's that? So this is it. This is the pool at Radium Hot Springs. So I'm actually not staying in Radium because apparently there's a place called Lucier which has a natural hot spring and it will have bubbles for bubbly day. So I'm gonna check that out. It's only about an hour away. I think an hour's drive for some bubbles is well worth it, particularly on bubbly day. We're at Invermere on the lake. I'm really glad I drove through this intersection because I saw the ice cream shop and I remembered it's Rocky Road Day. We got to get us some ice cream. So I didn't want to spend 20 bucks on a liter of ice cream, so we're going to head over here. So here I am in the ice cream aisle and they have a lot of ice cream, including, look at that, that's what I'm talking about. Why are you buying this? Because today's Rocky Road Day. <laughs> it's also a bubbly day, so maybe have a drink of champagne later. Champagne, that's kind of fancy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, have a good day. You too, thanks. Yeah, this place is spectacular. I wish I had a grocery store at the foot of the Rocky Mountains in my hometown. Damn. So we are in Fairmount Hot Springs now. I'll show you on the map where we are. How cool is that? So this is also just outside Fair Fairmont. That is the coolest thing ever. I don't know what that is, what causes that kind of formation. I guess it's just the wind. How bizarre is that? So I just pulled over because I want to show you guys where we are. So this is British Columbia in Canada. So this is the Radium Hot Springs where we stopped just briefly and almost went for a dip before we discovered Lucier Hot Springs. This is Invermere where I stopped for the ice cream. We drove down here, there's Fairmont. We've driven down here south, south, south. And right now we are at Canal Flats. And just a little further south there's this White Swan, what is it called? White Swan Lake Road. And that's a 20 kilometer stretch on dirt track. It's a logging road, but it's gonna take us to Lucier Hot Springs, and that is where we're headed. We are gonna have a blast. We've got bubbly, we've got Rocky Road ice cream. We're gonna play some rock music, buy a Rocky Road, and celebrate Rocky Road Day. Yeah!
Let's do it. Or so that how do you said deers <laughs> crossing for the next 12 kilometers. Wow. Usually when you see those signs, it says there's a danger of deers on the road for, you know, a kilometer. This is for the next 12 kilometers. So I think I'm going to slow it down. And sometimes I crouch down in the seat like this. So I'm, if a deer comes through the windshield, maybe it'll just, it'll scalp me and it won't kill me. It won't take my head right off. Yeah, so I'm going to drive like this for a while, maybe for the next 12 kilometers. Because on the rocky road theme, I have rocks in my head, no doubt, but I need those damn rocks. So how is this for a funny story? I'm driving along and I realize, oh man, I've been so distracted by everything that I'm not paying attention and I'm supposed to turn off this road at some point onto that white swan forest road. So I'm driving and I'm thinking, oh damn, I, I bet I've passed it. So I pull over so I can do a U-turn and the car comes to a stop right here. And look at that. <laughs> How funny is that? Like, I'm not even joking. No word of a lie. Like, literally the car stopped right here. I look over and there's the sign. So uh, we're gonna head ahead and we're gonna turn on White Swan Forest Road. This is the start of the dirt road that I think I'm supposed to drive up. What does that say? Cattle at large. Wow. Okay, well, this will be interesting. Um, the car I'm driving is a little Kia Optima, so this is not an off-road vehicle by any means. I'm hoping we make it. Um, if not, I guess I could sleep in the car tonight on a rocky road. You know what? This is a very rocky road. So, it seems kind of appropriate, right? So it's actually clearing up and that dust you can see is from other vehicles passing the other direction. So, there are actually quite a few cars on this road and I think it seems not as bad. The worst bit was at the beginning and I was a little worried I was gonna damage this vehicle, return it with a thousand pink chips, but I think we'll be okay and I think we'll be able to drive uh, the woman at Radium told me she comes up here in her Corolla. The other woman said sometimes it's washed out and pretty bad, but it hasn't been a lot of rain and apparently this time of year they keep it well maintained because there's a lot of logging going on. Anyway, I think we'll make it to Lucier. Cross your fingers, pray for me. It is beautiful in here though. Look at that, what does that sign say? Mud? Mud Crescent or something? I don't know. Mud CRN, whatever that means. Yeah, I just saw another sign that said Mud Crescent South, so that was Mud Crescent North. <laughs> I hope that's not a bad omen. This will be Washout Lane coming up, or, or Landslide Boulevard. I've been really lucky with the weather. When I arrived in Calgary, I was terrified that it was gonna keep raining. But this is amazing. This road is, I mean, not bone dry, but certainly dry enough. I imagine when they've got a lot of rain, this road is a disaster. So again, thank you, uh, rain god. I worship the god of the sun on the day of the sun, so maybe he's been smiling on me. I'm actually glad that it's a little late in the day because there were a lot of cars coming the other direction and I wouldn't want to be stuck on a gravel road behind a lot of other vehicles. You get all that dust everywhere and it's terrible. So, see here's another guy maybe coming back from the hot spring. But yeah, and I suppose I should slow down. There, this road is a little dangerous. Maybe I won't shoot too much on this road. Just that's basically a cliff right there. So if you go off the road, you're, you're toast. <laughs> so uh, this is definitely a rocky road. A hairy would be more like it, I guess. It's a hairy, rocky road. Damn, look at that. Wow. <sighs> okay, I'm putting the camera away. I'm gonna focus on driving and not dying. 
Okay, I couldn't resist showing you this. So it's down to like a single track road and you've got to pull over to allow other vehicles to pass. How crazy is that? And yeah, it's pretty much a cliff right on the other side of this road, like down there. Wild. So we have arrived. This is the Kapintak White Swan Lake Provincial Park. I don't know, is that a question mark? Do they have like a question marks in their language? Wow, and then here you see the sign for the hot springs. So yeah, we made it. I'm Aaron. I'm Maya. And you're from? We're from Southern California. California. We're bubbling your head. They're <laughs> bubbling my head. All right, let's go. <laughs> this is great. Awesome, guys, thank you. Yeah. A couple? Here, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do I need to shoot? It should be. Does it say it's recording? I hope yes, so. Yes, it is. All right. So it's bubbly day today and it's rocky road day. So we brought some champagne and some rocky road ice cream. <laughs> yeah, would you like something? Uh, are you going to crack some? Are you going to crack that? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why don't you do the honors? <laughs> You can probably have some because it's really, it's like half a percent alcohol. Yeah, you can have some. Yeah. We're only, we're only, we're only slightly breaking the law. No. <laughs> They've got a cooler full of whiskey. Right on. That's it. It's a nice Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. The cold pool is nice. The cold pool? Which one's the cold Oh, yeah. Because the river's it's over cold. I'm going in because this shirt's filthy and I need to wash it, so I'm just going to go in with the shirt on. Where are you guys from? Uh, they're from California. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to get into this? Sorry. Were you the other people here from California? No, I, other guy. I'm from Canada. Oh, just right? us? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Ready? Yeah. Shake it up. Shake it. Shake it, shake it first. Shake it. Shake it. No, no, shake it. Okay. Shake it. Otherwise, it won't Shake it. More, more. Yeah. That's it. And don't, Ooh, don't point it at me. Don't point it at anybody. <laughs> Actually, you can point it at me. Go ahead. Ah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Nicely done. Good job. Okay. Champagne? Uh, Northern. Oh, nice. You're welcome. Well, you're I'm from Toronto, but Toronto. born in Edmonton. We're just, right day by day. Yeah, awesome. just traveling around. And uh, every day I celebrate the day's holiday, so that's why I'm here. Oh, right on. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. I'm blown away. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Happy like, bubbly day. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to dump my towel here. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Yes, absolutely. It's a bubbly Cheers. day. It's a bubbly day. Enjoy your trip. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. It's a place to be. Yeah. Oh, a breathalyzer? Are you? So she's gonna blow and then she can yeah. have it when she's done. You're gonna wait. Yeah. That's pretty funny. We, we brought our little blower. <laughs> that is awesome. But I don't think this would have well, you never know. Yeah. That mouth stuff. Toothpaste? Yeah. They barely serve toothpaste. Or pizza, wow, really? yeast and pizza. Sometimes. Come on, are you yeah. serious? And I blew in after I used like a breast spray, had a little bit of alcohol in it, yeah. Really? Yeah. Breath wow. All right, guys. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, awesome. Yes, take Cheers. care. Thank, thank awesome. you. Yeah. Enjoy. Well, yeah. Enjoy yeah. Enjoy yes. This Cheers. is awesome. It is, Beautiful isn't it? Place. It is amazing. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Take care, guys. Wow. No, thank you. So it just happened on a stag party and this is so cool. So how cool is this man? Hot tub, cool tub, rapids, rocky mountains, sunshine, good times. It's one of the cold water right there. Is it hot? Uh, it's like a uh, hot tub temperature, 100 nice. degrees or so. Right on. We just had a guy pass out here. Are you serious? We know he was from California. Was he drinking? No, he was a demon really? and he was just sitting here and we thought, we thought he was just dunking his head and he just flashed. He was sitting right where I am. 
Oh, oh yeah, I thought that was a flower. Flower. <laughs> So I'm doing, I'm doing my laundry right now. Oh, shit. Oh, that's hot. Wow, that is hot. Oh, my God, that is really hot. I didn't think I'd see a guy in a blue tie in here. Yeah, I will, I will. I like it. So happy bubbly day, happy Rocky Road Day. <laughs> Daily Dinkus. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I have not looked at the Yeah, yeah. And that's why these guys, a is also a design element, so these little circles are a too. Uh, uh, these guys helped me. It was just a step. We went on. We went Who was asking me how long it took? Uh, that was great. No, dude. Honestly, you should all be like, you have 12 hours. I had to fly. Yeah, I had to get strapped down. I had to get strapped down. It was 12 hours. And I had to fight a couple guys off too, man. It was crazy. Like, bullshit. It's bubbly day today. Okay. It's an official holiday. It is. So we're celebrating with some bubbly. Okay. Hey, man. Happy bubbly day. This guy gave me a very good one. Yeah, he's the very guy. Yes, please. Can you guys begin the group? Hey. Oh, like this. To the Dinkus! 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 To the that's probably because it's all melty. Probably because it's your ice cream. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, oh, yeah, I don't want to see anything. Yeah. There it is. Not bad, right? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Right? It's very big. 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 It's yeah, but there's a condition. You have to say happy Rocky Road Day and happy Bubbly Day. Is the sun in your face? Is that better? <laughs> All right, happy Bubbly Day, happy Rocky Road Day, and uh, perfect. All right, enjoy. So that was a successful adventure. Rocky Mountains, check. Rock music, check. Rocky Road ice cream, check. Rock and friends, check. Happy Rocky Road Day, happy bubbly day. Till next time you watch the Daily Dinkus. Bye now. Goodbye, Lose Your Hot Springs. Goodbye, DC. This is one of the best days of my life. That was so much fun. My God, that was awesome. I'm feeling bubbly. Time to drive home over some rocky roads, but wow, that was fantastic. Just heading back to the car, up a rocky road. How appropriate. All right, goodbye YouTube. Good night. Have some rocky road ice cream and a shot of champagne for me. Love you guys, thanks for watching.
So I am super velocitized. I'm doing 110 and I feel like I'm doing 30 kilometers an hour. And I realized maybe having rocks on the road would be safer because rocky roads would make people slow down and pay attention to the rocks and you'd have to sort of focus and stay aware instead of being on autopilot like I was there. So hey, uh, there's an idea. Rocky roads with rocks, obstacles, make you think instead of crash. Is that for a dankest idea?